Okay, you're eight. We're gonna make a little summary. So you can pop this into your books um, when I've when I've gone through it. Um, and it's just a nice summary of the difference between sound waves and light waves because they get confused, but hopefully this will kind of put it all on one page and therefore it's all in a nice order for, for you to revise from. Um, this is the last lesson on waves. Next week you'll start ecosystems, but Mrs. Huff's gonna take you for them, as I said yesterday. And um, but there'll be a waves test at some stage. So at some stage, Mrs. Huff will send well, I'll tell her when to do the um, waves test. So it'll probably be the end of next week so that you've got time time to revise for it. Um and I'll I'll make like a little um summary document as well for you. So she can send that out on Monday. Anyway, so um yeah, comparing sound waves and light waves, speed in air. Um yeah, you don't need to know the exact number, it's it's, it's handy to know, but you need to know which is faster. So if I'm you know, if there's a storm going on and there's loads of storms at the moment, which is which is coincidental, I see a flash of lightning and then I hear a rumble of thunder. Okay, and I can gauge how far the thunderstorm is away by counting from when I see the flash. So I see, I see the flash, and I then go one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, and then, and apparently that right, I got to three, one thousand, just to make it make it go to seconds. Right, so that's about three miles away. Okay, I think I think that's the math. So sound waves must be slower. Yep, yeah, and they are the 343 meters per second. Still fast, but um, still, yeah, um, a lot slower. Whereas light waves are almost a million times faster. 299,702,547 meters per second. So yeah, a lot, lot faster. We've not had sports day this year, but normally I do the timing on, on sports day. So all the students have stood at the start. I'm right at the top of the field with their stock clock. And I have to um, start the stop clock and obviously stop the stop clock on the first person because that's to see if it's a record or not. And then that gets recorded. Now, if I went on the bang of the gun, that so it was like a like a little clapper gun, you know, like clap, claps. Um, if I went on the sound, I'd get the wrong recording. But his clapper gun that he uses to start the race also has a mirror in it. So when he when he pulls the the trigger. We see like a flash of light from the mirror. So we go on the flash of the mirror, not the sound of the gun, because light travels faster, which means that we get a better recording, a more accurate re recording of the top, top, um, yeah, of the um, fastest time. So, yeah, all you need to know is sound waves are far, far, far slower. Waveform, this is, this is the, the, the technical bit. So yeah, sound waves have a have a, it's called a longitudinal or a compression wave. And that just means if I had like a slinky spring and I kind of like you kind of like pressed it at one end, the um that energy will would be passed along the spring along its length. And um, it's sh it showing the video that you watched yesterday where there was like they had some um some swimmers and they all stood up and they all kind of touched each other and then and then one person pushed the back of one. And then they pushed each other and it went along the length of the people. So that's what sound waves are like. It kind of compresses the air molecules that then bounce out again and compress some more. And you get these things called compressions. You can see there compression and rarefaction. Don't copy down the rarefaction and compression. It's, you can draw the diagram if you wish, but it gets confusing with this diagram. You just need to know longitudinal or compression. Whereas light waves, they do a transverse wave. Like if I got a, a, a rope and started doing that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they have a crest of a wave and a trough of a wave. So this is what waves at sea are like. They are transverse as well. So light waves and the waves in the sea do a, um, a it's called transverse. OK. So, yeah, that's the, the technical bit. Next is moves through a vacuum. Can sound waves move through a vacuum? Well, again, in the video that you watched on Monday, there was a monkey drummer in a bell jar and she pumped out the air and you couldn't hear the drumming. So it can't move through a vacuum. Sound waves can't move through a vacuum. Loads of like sci-fi films that are set in space and they'll blow up a starship and you'll hear this massive boom. Utter nonsense. There's no sound in space. Obviously, there's sound on the spaceship because there's air molecules in the spaceship. But in a vacuum, yeah, you know, 
as I say, you know, you know, no one can hear you scream in a vacuum um, because the sound waves needs molecules to bash into. Whereas light waves, yes, they can. Um, and that's a good job because, again, in space, space is a vacuum, isn't it? And therefore, for the sun's rays to reach Earth, it has to travel through a vacuum. If light couldn't travel through a vacuum, there'd be no light. It'd just be a dark planet, no life. So, yeah, a difference. And differences are really important. Um, moves through opaque substances. What's an opaque substance? Um, this is an opaque substance. Light cannot pass through. So by definition, light cannot pass through. But can sound travel through this? Yes, really loud. So yes, um, sound waves can travel through opaque substances like MADES. Um, and they can travel through transparent substances as well. But light rays can only travel through transparent substances. OK, next is speed and density, which is really interesting, I think. Which is, um, yeah, because because again, it's opposites. So the denser something is, the faster the sound waves travel. So air is not dense; it travels quite slowly, 343 meters per, per second. In water, it travels faster. That's why whales can communicate for kilometers by making these like noises. They make these deep groans that are almost too low for us to hear. But they can travel for kilometers and kilometers. Yeah, so they can communicate for yeah, massive distances underwater. In air, you know, you can you can you can shout a bit, I can hear the loud, loud birds in the morning, but they they don't travel that far. And it travels even faster through um, things like wood. Um, and it's the opposite for light rays rays. The denser the transparent subject, it's substance or it needs to be transparent. They are transparent, the slower light waves become, and then that causes that refraction. Yep. So when light goes from air to glass, glass is denser, it therefore bends it. When it goes from air into water, again, light gets bent because it slows down in water and slows down further in glass and slows down even more in diamond. OK, so yeah, it's um, again, it's opposites. Um, and, you know, Hopefully you know sound that it travels faster in solids. And if you've been to a swimming pool and been underwater, um, you can you can hear noises really, really, yeah, really kind of loudly because they are traveling faster. Sensation produces just hearing and seeing. We've done a bit about the ear structure. Um, we don't do about the eye structure until year eleven in biology at GCSE. So um, we'll ignore that for now. Low frequency, and this is a bit wrong, is this? But but I left it on because I wanted to show you. Yeah, and low frequency for sound waves, you get a low note or a low pitch. Um, for light rays, you get red light and infrared. So, but if you're talking about visible light, it's just it's the red end of the spectrum has the lower frequency. It then goes into infrared, even lower frequency into microwaves even lower frequency into radio waves, but you wouldn't call these two at the end light. So um, it's just part of the electromagnetic spectrum. And high frequency, well, if it's low note for low frequency, it's a high note or a pitch for high frequency. And in light, that goes to the other end of the spectrum. So that's the violet end of the spectrum. Remember Richard of York gave battle in vain for the colours of the rainbow. V stands for violet. Um, and then you get into the ultraviolet that we can't see, but there's some insects that can see in the ultraviolet. Um, so those are light, but then the, the next two aren't light, but they get even shorter wavelengths. Things like X-rays that can travel through um, through um, skin, but can't travel through bone, and gamma rays that can travel through all of us. Um, yeah, so that's where it kind of yeah, these aren't really light rays. So if, you, if you're making a copy of this, I, I put microwaves and radio waves in brackets, X-rays and gamma rays in brackets, or just omit them completely because it's not a, it's not a light wave. OK, um, I'm just trying to tell you my my. Whoops. Thank you for that. Um, I've got a joke. I'll tell, I'll tell you my joke. Right. There's a purple man and he lives in a purple kingdom and his his purple family is starving, so he actually goes onto the purple king's land and he kills a purple deer to eat. Um, 
but the um, purple guards catch him and he gets brought before the purple king and the purple king says well it is illegal to kill a, a king's purple deer and therefore I'm going to sentence you to 14 purple days in the purple jail okay so the purple man gets gets taken away by the purple guards to the purple jail and do you know what the guards said to the purple man before the, he gets thrown to the purple jail indigo never said it was funny never said it was funny on that note i can only apologize i'll stop sorry about that